This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. The uh, Great American Bash 88 in Baltimore is another regrettable piece of creative. Ugh. It's a Tower of Doom match. We got the Garvins, Dr. Death, and the Road Warriors against Rotunda, Al Perez, the Russian assassin, Ivan Koloff, and Kevin Sullivan. Jim, how would you describe the Tower of Doom for someone who never saw this? A cluster fuck. A three level cluster is how I describe it. It's too many moving parts. What do you focus on? Who gets over? Uh, so many things. Total gimmick. And and I know and I and to, for for my own defense or our full transparency, stuff like the war games I loved. There are certain matches I love. I love a I love a cage match where escaping the cage isn't a part of the equation. You know, if you've got a strong enough angle that you're going to be in a cage, why would you have escaping that cage and running as part of the way to determine a winner? Makes no, it's not logical. You did that to appease baby face, the baby faces in our, in the territories who didn't want to lose in a cage match. Uh, so are our heels not getting pinned or made to submit in a cage? Ego, ego, ego. So, but this one has so many moving parts and, uh, you know, I, I love looking at this because it was, it brought back a lot of good memories and a lot of, there's a lot of good guys there that probably if they had not had this match would not have been on the card to, to any significant degree. They made more money working in a main event level match in this tower of doom, but it was gimmicky. Everybody was looking for something new that's going to hit. No different than giving a talent a chance or the new gimmick, a new name, a new hold, whatever it may be. It was just looking, searching for something that, uh, quite frankly, wasn't there. Let's talk a little bit about the match itself. They get nearly 20 minutes. Meltzer gave it two and three quarter stars. He really says that, you know, this is probably not the best way to showcase a team like the Road Warriors. They needed their own match. Uh, and, uh, Really, it's all about Jimmy Garvin and Precious versus, you know, Kevin Sullivan and Mike Rotundo. But for whatever reason, the Road Warriors are involved. And when the big revenge spot comes, it's not Jimmy Garvin making the save for Precious. It's Hawk. And I guess, you know, the Road Warriors needed a spot to shine, but it just feels like they're inserted into, into someone else's program. Uh, not the best creative stuff ever in 1988 for the NWA. But then from here, Mike Rotundo begins a program with Steve Williams and a $10,000 bounty is put on, uh, is put up to get Rotundo without Sullivan and Steiner interfering. And I know that you're a big Dr. Death fan. You probably were all about this pairing of, Hey, we're going to see Mike Rotundo and Dr. Death in a shoot. This would be uh, pretty fun. And well, let's see what it's like in the world of pro wrestling. Yeah, I like their uh, potential, and uh, I don't think it was ever fully realized, but I did like the potential, the pairing of those two dudes. Uh, and uh, you know, I and they got along; they had good chemistry. But they needed something. They needed something because you can't put less than perfect charisma with less than perfect charisma, and then so all of a sudden. Oh, look here. We've got, we've found charisma. It not work that way. But I love the two guys immensely with all my heart. Let my family save your family some cash. You don't need perfect credit. You don't need money out of your pocket, but we will save you money. It's not a matter if it's a matter of how much save with Conrad.com. Uh, and uh, both those guys, if I, again, I say this is about the best compliment I can give a lot of these talents. If I had a territory. Uh, two things I know, if I had a territory, I'd have less money than I have now. Right. <laughs> and, uh, but I'd want those two guys on my roster. Let's, uh, let's talk about what's next. The Sullivan feud with Garvin leads to Rotundo holding Garvin down and Sullivan dropping a cinder block on his leg and breaking it. I don't remember seeing a lot of cinder blocks used in wrestling before this. what do you think of this? 
Well, don't you remember that, that hot angle we did that year with Bischoff broke a center block over my head? Well, that was after that, but yeah. Oh, well, I know it was after that, Conrad. I was there. I've got to remember that. God almighty. I'm not that seen now, for fuck's sake. Uh, no, I was just, it's a center rock reference. But you're right. It, it was kind of innovative at that point in time. Seriously, I'll be so uh, not much of a dick. But nonetheless, uh, I, I, I like to, anytime you got Steiner, Rotunda, Dr. Death, and maybe another one or two, you made me happy because I knew the boot match is going to be snug, physical. You're going to be able to hear contact. You're going to be able to not see through bullshit. Uh, they're not doing things that make you roll your eyes. So oh, this is crazy. Those are those wrestlers, and I don't have people watch this shit. So, uh, but I, I, I love those guys. And I it's just we we kept bouncing around, and that's part of the thing. You know, we've talked about WCW, the the schizophrenic booking, where we everything would be great for a week or two, and then it wouldn't, and then we would start over, or let's change, let's reshuffle the deck. Hey, I'm all for reshuffling the deck when it's time, but if you're getting winning hands dealt to you, then why would you want to shuffle the deck? And that, that was just that, you know, everybody trying to get their settle, settle in through their power positions. And I just didn't, uh, you know, for a TV broadcaster, you got to keep changing your stories and change your mindsets. And, and sometimes it just didn't work out well. And this is one of those cases where I think Rotunda was, was a uh, miscast and, and ill booked. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.